Hi, my name is Sam. Welcome to another screencast episode on ColorMyLearning.com. In this video, we're going to look at the SCORM course format. Now, we looked at the different course type or different course formats available on Moodle VLE. This time around, we're going to focus specifically on the SCORM course format, how to set up a course that uses the SCORM format. Now, what is SCORM? SCORM stands for Shareable Content Object Reference Model. Now, it simply means that it, it is a standard or a technical standard for e-learning software. SCOM tells the programmers how to write their code so that it can be included or embedded into an e-learning platform such as Moodle. Let's take a quick look at um, an existing SCOM course format that we have created. This is what it looks like when you've created a course and specify specifically that you want it to be a SCOM format. You would then be asked to import the SCOM package. Now I've imported the SCOM package here. Clicking on that gives you the SCOM package itself. Depending on the publisher, obviously, this is one from a publisher for sports level 3 they have chosen to embed some of the documents and this could be pdf or word document and the type of content would be either activity or static these com packages can include ways to engage students interactively and collect grades or results of the attempts on the different activities that are available within them now, obviously, you would need a SCOM editor to create a SCOM package like that, um, which is not part of this video. We're just going to look at specifically how to create a course that embeds this SCOM package. So if you're in a VLE, you need to be logged on as a course creator. So click on add a new course to create your course. So here I have a create a new course page. So I'll click a put down the name for this SCOM package. Now this may be depending on what SCOM package or content that you may have. Um, you can name this accordingly. I'm going to include a short name which is compulsory and a short description. Now this may not be necessary, but a short description uh, would come into play when you are looking at a course list within the category. Short description serves to give a bit more information about your course. So, now that you've put in the compulsory fields, course full name and course short name, you now come down to the format of the course. You can always click on the help icon to bring up an information bubble. An information bubble will explain briefly about what these different course formats are. So for this exercise, we're going to click on the SCOM format. So what this does is it will reload the page to bring up the settings that are specific to a SCOM package. So you can then decide what the size of the SCOM is. Bear in mind that this limit is set by the administrator. So if your SCOM package is big, you may need to go back to the administrator to increase the maximum upload size to allow your SCOM to be uploaded. Now these are typical settings which we will leave default. What happens then is as soon as I click save changes, I'll be asked to enroll students. But for this purpose, we're just going to skip that and go back into the course itself. So we're not going to enroll any students. We're going to go into the course. So here's where you add your SCOM package. This is a follow up step for creating a course with the SCOM format. So I'll call this the SCOM package itself. Next is to grab the file from your Explorer window. And I'm going to do that now. I have my Explorer window open. And I'm going to just drag that file now. Now, SCOMs are typically zip files, so I'm dropping that file into this box. 
Now, depending on the size of your SCOM package and also your network, the speed of your network, this may take a while to upload, but ideally you would want to do this in your school or your organization within your network where your server sits. So now I have successfully uploaded the SCOM package. Now, typically you would see the advanced settings being hidden as such. Now, simply click on the advanced, show advanced option to look at the different options for your SCOM. Um, you can come back and tweak this obviously when you are finished, but I'm just going to go with the default settings here. But bear in mind that if you need a bigger view, a wider width or height, these are all available um, to show the option of navigation and scrolling, etc. Again, you're allowed to grade with the SCOM and if the activities within the SCOMs are gradable, you can always add a grade here and this will be put into the gradebook. Now, there are other additional settings here. You can obviously do um, such as the force completion and force new attempt if it's required. So I'll now save and display. Now you can continue as normal or you can preview the SCOM package now by clicking on, selecting on the radio box preview and clicking on enter. So there you go, a completed SCOM package that I've course format that I've uploaded using a SCOM package from a publisher um, and is ready to go. So I hope this has helped you understand a bit more about the SCOM package and how you can include this SCOM into a course itself. Now obviously there are other ways to embed a SCOM into your course. You can always create a course in the topics format or the weekly format. And in that, just simply click add a new resource or activity. And from that resource or activity, select the SCOM. From there, you would see a similar view to what we saw earlier where you are allowed to upload and define the settings for a SCOM. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, visit us on colormylearning.com. Remember to share this tutorial on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you and I hope to see you soon.